Majestic, captivating, and dangerous. Mount Everest is the ultimate mountaineering challenge. Climbers come from around the world seeking glory, but for those who help them scale the world's highest peak, it can be deadly work. Sherpa men die in disproportionate numbers, leaving behind widows who struggle to survive. Forced to become breadwinners, some women are defying tradition by breaking into the male-dominated world of Himalayan climbing. One-on-one East travels to Nepal, where Sherpa widows seek to conquer Everest and overturn centuries of discrimination. In the Himalayas, the world's highest peaks cast a long shadow over Nepal's Khumbu Valley. Jangmo has lived here all her life. Like many Sherpa women, she married a mountaineer whose life and death were defined by Mount Everest. <laughs> Ani <laughs> <laughs> Jagmo's husband, Datenzing, was 37 when he died in a climbing accident. His story is a common one here in the village of Fortse more than 3,800 meters above sea level. It's home to many of the top Sherpa climbers. They risk their lives to help paying customers scale the highest Himalayan peaks. Wealthy foreigners began flocking to Nepal, chasing Everest glory in the 1990s, transforming the lives of locals. They went from being farmers to some of the best mountaineers in the world. Sherpas can make five times the average salary in Nepal, working as guides, porters, and cooks. Dawa Danuru started working in the mountains when he was only 17. Since then, he scaled Everest a dozen times, most recently in 2019, at the age of 60. He accepts the risk in order to provide for his family. Avalanche <laughs> Dawa has suffered serious injuries on the job, 
but he keeps on going because there are few other options. Dawa's wife, Yang Jen, has good reason to fear for her husband's safety. When she was young, her brother was killed in an avalanche. She ended up marrying a man who would be exposed to the same dangers. About 120 Sherpas have lost their lives on Everest since 1900, around a third of all recorded deaths on the mountain. In this Sherpa village of Fortse, glory and tragedy go hand in hand. Every house here has someone who has made it to the top of Everest, not just once, but several times. But many people here have also lost their loved ones on the mountain peaks. When Jangmo's husband died, the family lost its breadwinner. Jangmo was left to fend for herself and her two sons. She had to send her children away to continue their education. It's a day's walk to her 12-year-old son's boarding school. Her older son studies in the capital, Kathmandu. One of her husband's foreign clients and a Sherpa organization pitched in to cover her son's school expenses. Insurance <laughs> The pension amounts to $25 a month. When her husband was alive, a single expedition provided enough money to support the family for a year. To make ends meet, Jagmo has even considered doing the very thing that took his life. Sadi 
It's a question confronting another Fortse widow, Sherki Lamu. She knows the pain and suffering that Everest can inflict. Her husband died in a climbing accident in 2007. After years of financial struggles, she's decided to follow in his footsteps. This training is an important first step to fulfilling her dream and perhaps changing her fortunes. Sherki Lamu became a widow just five years after she was married. <laughs> she was left to take care of their two sons alone. You see, you see, Choyu Matsori, what is your 2004 Marisa, your 2005 Marisa, your 2003 Marisa, you see, 2002 Marisa, so Everest, Amadablam, Amadablam, Annapurna, Annapurna one, Lotse, Fotse, Kansizanga. Which one is your husband? Hazuri, you say Mirura, Mirbura go here is a Tinzana, sir. And the Everest Mats or the Hiri, Isari, Kaira Rumati, Tropma, Lagera, Isari Zanda, Bogera, Porta Hisnoporsa, the Bara, you porta say Kizera Lego. Mira Bibamo, Zombis Porsa, Honda Hiri Bago, and the Mira Sidiman say Amobandani sat was a jetago. Simanda were healthy, too, handsome, too, you know. Hasilator, Bolnada Titi Bolinati Hassi, a Machi Hashilit, Ramailusa, Ramailitio, Hashilitio. Garbata Hinigo, Manasul Zorida, Kiri Camera City, Guru Sangai, Gormount Tem Tina, Camera Everest Cavatio. How difficult is life as a single mother? Oh, it all the hotel go company got you, chicken bunny got you, kitty bunny got you. Got over bunny, I was all on a The climbing prowess of Sherpas is legendary, but for generations, it's been a male domain. When men leave to conquer the Himalayan peaks, tradition dictates that women take care of the home. And for those who lose their husbands, widowhood can define their existence. But a new generation of women is challenging these norms. Sure. 
Nima Doma's life changed forever when she lost her husband in 2014. He was killed in an avalanche on Everest, along with 15 other Sherpas. Four years later, she had enough of the discrimination widows often suffer in Nepal. Nima decided to take on Everest to highlight the plight of women who have lost their husbands to the mountain. She convinced her friend, Fordiki, another widow, to join her and the two widows Everest expedition was born. After training for a year and honing their skills on smaller mountains, they set out together to conquer the world's highest peak in 2019. Reaching the top of Everest has transformed Nima's life. She now works as a guide on shorter trekking expeditions and is a brand ambassador for a clothing company. धेरै फरक छ आकाश पातलले फरक भन्दा पनि हुन्छ पहिले त अब हामी जुन ठाउँमा जाँदाखेरि पनि अब अरूले पो के भन्छ कि त्यतिखेर चाहिँ हामी फिल्डमा निस्केको थिएन त्यतिखेर घरको काम गर्ने खाना पकाउने त्यति त्यो भित्रको मात्र पोसेर बसेर चाहिँ हामी फिल्डमा धेरै ननिस्केर चाहिँ अब अरूले पो के भन्छ समाजले पो के भन्छ भन्ने डर थियो अहिले चाहिँ Nima's Everest quest was fueled by her grit and determination. But the training she received at a unique school in Fortse also played a huge role in her success. It's the same place where Sherki Lamu is learning vital skills to help her tackle Everest. The Kumbu Climbing Center has trained several hundred climbers from the region since it opened almost two decades ago. Funaru is an experienced high altitude climbing guide who trains aspiring mountaineers. <laughs> Our little Kuta Japetic no Kotaki, Kuta Japetic with a log, boy, already lock. Okay, now. 
Funuru's mountaineering journey began early, at the age of 16. His father and brother were Sherpa guides before him. He's climbed Everest 12 times. Now he leads several expeditions a year, both in Nepal and abroad. He's no stranger to tragedy on the slopes either. 2006, I was able to at this school, you're also focusing on training women, especially widows. Why is that? Uh, culture, our uh, society, man, just case, man, husband le come on, eh, abo, buddha le just come on, eh, buddhi haru garma bas ne, abo buddhi haru le just gar ko take care gar ne, just to unsa. And this way le ne, abo video by abo chida le kadi gar ho ne, by halse ne kine man ke abo income ay ne me gar ho unsa, abo life style le gar ho unsa, bacha pal ne gar ho unsa. My le pani ke concept le gar ho man, abo man kiri haru le just opportunity diye man, wo aarle pani ganu se sakto resa. How do you think climbing expeditions can change their lives? There is no change. 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 After a long hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the climbing season is about to begin in Nepal. And the time has come for Sher Kilamu to put her new skills to the test. But first, she and Funaru are visiting a monastery to pray for good fortune. <laughs> Camp two, best camp. How are you? One of them clear, no, Joe. Some of them are Sherkilamu has joined Funaru on an expedition. She's made it to Everest Base Camp, 5,600 meters above sea level. Funaru is pleased with her progress. <laughs> अब हेरौ म यसपालि कतिको उफर्न रहेछ उहाँले त एकदम इन्ट्रेस्टेड नै छ अहिले धेरै लाग्छ किनकि अहिले त हामी जस्ट स्टार्टिङ मात्र हो Today Sherkilamu is on kitchen duty खाद <laughs> 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 Our 
for Sherki Lamu and today's generation of Sherpa women. Everest has come to embody more than just grief and loss. Now, it's also a symbol of hope and the possibility of forging a new future high in the Himalayas. <laughs> Salmon, 